Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where we are currently crushing the Mauritanian revolt. This is of course not our revolt, but I just noticed this up here. Okay, that's not actually Mauritania. We don't actually know where their troops are then. Interesting. They might be near their capital, I'm not sure, but we're going to proceed for now. We do have this army moving into this settlement and we are currently capping this over here. So it should, in theory, be reasonably fine. Now, we could call Turditania into this. I don't think there's a reason to. We are probably going to have Editania rebel soon. Oh, hello. Found their army. Our side might lose. This battle will happen on 26 August, 545. Now, my understanding is that this works like in Crusader Kings. Whereas, if we occupy this, we get the defensive bonus in the forest. As long as we don't have it occupied... Yeah, we would occupy it in time. So we would get a defensive bonus here. And our troops are superior. And we have higher morale than they do. Their commander is better, and they have more troops. I think I'm willing to allow this to happen. If we have to retreat here, it's okay. I'm not too concerned about it. Let's allow this to proceed. Let's grab this cap. They are now locked in. Of course, I'm quite certain that we can't get out. We would leave on 30 August and 7 September. So yeah, we can't get out of there, but that's okay. So we accept this now and the terrain is to our benefit. And it was previously as well, so I guess it doesn't quite work the way I thought it did, but that's fine. The train is to our benefit. We'll just allow this to happen, see how it goes. If we have to retreat, that's okay. We are not, however, going to allow this to get stack wiped. It won't at this point. Okay, so we now know where their army is, and this is actually going shockingly well. We're currently in the lead in morale. Okay. Hiram Hannon has gout, sure. We're still just in the lead. We can't take in just anybody, you know. We're still squeaking this one out. I mean, we did have better morale, we have better discipline, and we have better troops. But man, is this close. But, I mean, if we win this, this is amazing for us. We're not going to stack wipe them, obviously. They just retreated a good chunk of their troops. In fact, I believe that was all of them. Yeah, they just retreated all of their troops. We're going to head over to their capital over here. The unit lacks access. I had the wrong unit selected. Excellent. We're going to head on over here. And now that we won this battle, this army is actually completely capable of dealing with these guys. So that is absolutely great. We're going to finish up this siege as well. And they don't have a chance of winning this. We got a little lucky there. They definitely prob- well, definitely probably. <laughs> they should have won that battle. They should have won the battle. There's no doubt about that. The Mauritanian Revolt did hire some mercs over here, apparently. I don't think we care. We do have Wicked Sisters available to be completed because we have finished up integration up here. That's wonderful. We will go ahead and activate that one for 10% province commerce in Carthago. Great. We are, of course, working on this down here, and I do want to check in. Yeah, those integrations are going to be a while. There's no doubt about that. We, of course, need to turn Eolia into a uh, into a city here, or into a colonized settlement, more specifically. Now, one thing I'm interested in, could we move in some Canaanite Punic pops here? We could... We could move in this guy, and then these, which allows us to colonize here. Perfect. So we colonize that, and then I think we still might need to colonize something down over here for our mission. Let's check. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we need to colonize this. Okay, so can we do anything over here? Canaanite Punic. Excellent. That's all we needed. Colonize that. Perfect. Mission completable. Integrated culture happiness and migration attraction for both of those provinces. Nice. We'll definitely take that. 
Okay, next up is this one. Tabessa needs to be a city. Now, I believe... Tabessa is a city. But it needs to have a population greater or equal to 10. Okay, we can do that too. We can move these guys in here. Maybe something like that. There we go. And that will give migration attraction of plus one. Sure. Securing the coast of Africa is, of course, what we're currently doing on this war. And then the Libyan Empire will require securing the coast of Africa. And it'll give a choice between two permanent boni. Okay. Bonuses, presumably. <laughs> and then we're, of course, working on this over here. Excellent. So let's go ahead and finish up this battle over here. There are these mercs, and I don't think we really care about them, in all honesty. I think they're not particularly relevant as long as they're out sieging over here. We can maybe go crush them with the first army if we have enough to siege with these guys. I'd be a little surprised if we do, honestly. But we'll see. Actually, we do have enough to siege with these guys. Okay, we'll let the first army finish up then, and then we'll come down here and deal with their mercs. Sounds good to me. I'm not too concerned about this. We should probably build more farming settlements if we want additional food, which of course we do. We'll build one right here. Excellent. Okay. So we're getting close to finish up, finishing up these missions. That's great. These guys are now done. We're going to head south, see if we can catch their levy troops. Actually, they're coming out over this direction. We'll see if we catch them. Hopefully we do. And this siege is, of course, in progress. And then we're going to come see if we can deal with their mercs after. That's a stack wipe. That is perfect. So we're going to come down the coast here. We had the uh, navy selected there. And the question is, where are their mercs? There they are. Hello, mercs. We're going to come deal with you. We're currently full on morale. They are not. And we should be more experienced and disciplined than them. So this should be fine. Uh, he's going to be upset if we don't give him an office soon. Okay, I'm not too concerned about it. <laughs> he can be upset. We're going to take out these mercs. And then we're going to take back this settlement over here, of course. I don't think we're going to stack wipe these mercs. Well, maybe. We're crushing them really quick. They're still hired by the Mauritanian Revolt. Okay. Interesting. We could potentially buy off the merc, but that's a lot of gold that I'm not interested in doing. We can put in a researcher here. Yes, we did just promise... I don't even know who it was. We did just promise one of these guys a job, but we're going to give it to whoever is most qualified, and that's this guy. Excellent. These guys are retreating. They're a little bit threatening to this force, that is for sure. But we're going to cap this back and head up north. I'm not sure where these guys are retreating to. That's the question. They are threatening to this army, though. So we're definitely going to have to turn around and come up this way and see about pursuing them a bit. It looks like they're heading up this way. They're down to 5k troops. That's nice. We're going to go ahead and grab our Canaanite economy deity. There we go. They're retreating over to here. If they're retreating, like, over here, then I'm really sad. They retreated to here. And they're just chilling for now. I'm okay with them chilling. We're making our way northward, of course. We still can't build military roads. I'm actually thinking that it might have been a trade good that was giving us the ability to build roads. I don't know that for a fact, though. I'm not sure what caused that caused us to gain and then lose the ability to build roads. Regardless, we got some roadage built. So, you know, that's convenient. I was hoping for a lot more. There's no doubt about that. But it'll be fine. Okay, we won this siege. And we're going to have to come up here and fight these mercs, of course. And we're already heading in there. Perfect. We're going to allow these guys to move up a little bit closer. There we go. Now we're going to come in with these as well. We need a governor over here, and we're going to put in whoever is most qualified, because we have no scorned families. Perfect. And we actually don't even have to fight these mercs. Okay. Let's just let them back off, and we'll end this war. 
I don't want to spend the manpower on fighting them. There's no real point. We are at 100% war score, and we are going to take their everything. That is going to give us 15 AE. We are okay with this. Fantastic. The Mauritanian Elite, we are of course going to lose the AE there. Wonderful. These guys can head on over to here. These guys can head on over, I guess, to here. And that does, of course, mean that we can grab securing the coast of Africa. And that is something that we will definitely do. That gives us Navy maintenance cost and ship damage taken reduction for some time. Okay. And then we'll begin work on the Libyan Empire. Excellent. Carthage is the hegemon of all of Africa. Unintegrated culture group happiness plus 3% and pop assimilation speed plus 0.1. We're definitely taking that. We are a million percent taking that. <laughs> that is so good. Okay. So with that happening, that definitely changes our calculus on our risk of rebellion. Pretty dramatically, in fact. I like it a lot. How are we doing on our integration? We are still a ways away. We could finish this mission at this point, but I want to grab the Emporium of Tripoli first. So that's what we're going to do. And we will get this, of course, grabbed in. I also want to finish up colonizing in Sardinia. That would be nice, or rather in Corsica. That would be nice. Unfortunately, that's not really a thing that we can do right now. We'll set these guys to drilling. And then these guys are still making their way up. I sure wish they could build roads. They can't. It also might have been a trait on our ruler that was giving us the ability to do that. Perhaps. Like, who was our previous ruler? Do we have a way of seeing that? This is the year of Hiram Hanid, yes. But, uh... The agenda is confiscation, huh? Interesting. I'm not actually sure. Wow, the Democrats have a lot of control. Okay. I'm not actually sure what was giving us that ability, but we no longer have it, so we can't build military roads. I guess that's fine. We will continue working on building farming settlements, of course. There we go. Excellent. That will continue developing us some food. And I wouldn't necessarily mind getting rid of some of these fortresses. That wouldn't be the worst thing. But that's not currently a high priority. These guys are arriving at their destination. That's perfect. And we will go ahead and have them begin their drilling. There we go. Now I want to take a look at our legion size here. Oh, we have a colonizable territory, which we will absolutely do. There we go. I want to take a look at our legion sizes. How are we doing there? We're at 20 out of 20 and 7 out of 7. Okay, so nothing to be done on the legions just yet. But overall, this seems to be going reasonably well. We are losing some stability right now, mostly due to AE. We could actually stab a pig. There we go. Problem solved. Excellent. Now, next, we are kind of waiting on these annexations, right? I'm definitely interested in getting this colonized, though. So perhaps we could move some pops in here. No, the entire province is disloyal. Yeah, that's, I guess, to be expected. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That is completely okay. Okay, killed in a freak accident. And that means that the Badonids are considered scorned. So... It would have to be this guy. He's only skill 5, but I'm going to put him in anyway. I don't actually care that much about the skill of our naval commanders. We're not very... We're not very contested in the Mediterranean, right? We've kind of got some supremacy going on there. Speaking of which, I would like to build a few more ships, and we're going to build, like... Okay, yeah. I'm not surprised that Rome has declared on us. And uh, we'll just relocate them to somewhere more appropriate. Yeah, Rome has declared on us. This is not a shock. And we are going to actually hold off on building these ships then. We'll move these guys over to here. We'll embark these lads. I need to look at what the Roman CB here is. 
Imperial Challenge. They want to show superiority. Any occupations in your, your or the target's territory will be immediately annexed for the occupying war leader. Okay. So. This means that we are likely to lose this territory. I'm not sure we can possibly hold it. Maybe we can. But we can trade it for this territory. And that's something I'm willing to do, probably. I'm going to go ahead and raise up some levies. Only four pops in Magna Grecia. That's fine. We'll raise that up. I'm going to hire these mercs. And we're going to put these mercs, of course, immediately onto Unit Reorg. Okay. Next up. The African Levy will go ahead and raise, and they will position somewhere around here. Actually, they're going to move down the coast a ways, since they can do that pretty quickly. And then the Italian Levies will raise over here. These guys' goal is to make their way up over this way. I'm going to immediately shift these ships, or actually these guys, I'm going to bring down over here. And these guys I'm going to put on... Uh, let's see here. Hunt fleets. Okay. Next up, we are going to need the Mauritanian Levy. So the Mauritanian Levy is going to raise up over here. That's perfectly fine. The Numidian Levy is too disloyal. The Baetican Levy we can raise up. And that will raise up right here. So these guys are, in fact, going to go pick up those. Okay. And then after that, we are going to raise up the Contestanian Levy, the Terraconesan Levy, and the Lusitanian Levy. Now, where's the Lusitanian Levy at? Uh, where is this guy? Actually, we can find that here. Okay, that's over here. Right. So we're going to have to come over here first to pick them up. These guys can make their way down to the coast. Okay. Something along these lines. This is going to be rough to hold this until we can get there. This is going to be really rough. Okay. Well, we're going to make our way. The aims of the oligarchs have been realized. Okay, that's cool. So we are, of course, on unit reorg over here, which is causing us to lose money right now, but that is also causing us to gain a lot of morale over here. I'm not going to get aggressive over here just yet. So we've arrived here. We're waiting on this levy to show up. They're almost here. They're now here. Okay, we're going to embark them here and here, and then these guys are going to come pick up this force. Excellent. And I'm actually going to use this navy to come down over here and pick up these guys. I want to have both of our navies being used, and we'll have these come in as our first set of reinforcements here. Okay, so that'll be an additional 12,000 troops. We do have good manpower here. Okay, let's go ahead and embark both of these units. Excellent. And then the second navy is going to come drop them off over here to reinforce this. Actually, over here for supply limit purposes. As far as these guys go, we're going to embark all of these. And then we're going to come up over this way and pick up these guys. Excellent. So far, so good. And we are, of course, walking up to there to get a bit aggressive. We have 50% morale on our mercs currently, and we are currently making money, too, which is a little surprising. Untiring Devotion. Okay, three stability. We will happily take that. I'm very, very happy to see that. No sign of Rome attacking us just yet. We are away from the border, so we should see them first. That's okay. Turditania is calling us into a Turditanian revolt. I accept, but I'm sorry, guys. We have bigger problems. We can't help you with that. Rome is absolutely the issue right now. We can see there's a Roman force here. 
we are going to immediately fall back over here. This would give us attrition. So we're going to have to have the mercs be somewhere else. Actually, we're best off to hold out here, I think. We're expecting there to be more Romans behind this, though. But look at how far away we still are. <laughs> I was expecting Rome to declare war on us, but this CB definitely makes things complicated. So we're attacking up here. If there are more Romans immediately behind this, we're going to struggle. There's no doubt about that. We should probably turn off unit reorg, but when are these guys going to arrive? 27 January. I'm going to give it one more month tick on unit reorg. I'm expecting there's another army behind these guys, which is going to... They're heading south. They're heading south. Okay. If this is what they want to do, I'm not going to complain. We are going to come off of unit reorg here, though. Okay. So we are now in position up here. We will embark all of these troops. Like so. And then this navy is going to come over here to pick up this force. Excellent. So off we go. We're ferrying over a lot of troops. And yeah, they're going to cap this, but we're okay with this. Our mercs are currently at 84% morale, and that's going to be coming up nicely. Yes, they cap it, and they immediately annex it. We knew that was going to be the case. The same thing is happening here, of course. So we're going to move up over here and continue working on that. And then over here, we're going to embark all of these guys. Like so. And then we're going to come over and pick up this force. Our reinforcements are nearly over here. And we're going to drop them off right up over here, I think. Actually, no, I changed my mind. We are going to drop them off here. Our reinforcements have arrived. And we're going to make our way over. If they're capping here, the question is, do they have anyone behind? We have eyes over here. We know that they don't. I say we fight this force. They're not interested in fighting, which means I am very interested in fighting. Get in there. They are very, very disinterested in fighting. Okay, where is our force over here? They're moving around. Looks good. We have our instant annexation going on up here. Perfect. This force should immediately switch over to hunt fleets. There we go. And it looks like we're catching this force. Great. Wonderful. And we're just crushing them. We killed about 6,500 troops there. That is perfect. That's exactly what we're looking to do. These guys over here, they are going to go ahead and embark. Get everybody in there. And then our navy is going to come on over here and drop additional reinforcements. These guys are going to stay up here for a little while. And that's okay. They can do that. But with our naval supremacy, I think we can probably pull this off. First thing that we need to do, of course, is make sure that we don't have this much attrition here. <laughs> that's a lot of attrition. So I'm going to move our mercs over this way. And then I'm going to move everyone else except for this levy here over here as a bit of scouts. Okay, Edutania is rebelling against us. That is these guys over here. I'm going to hire these mercs. They will cost us how much? 6.41 per month. This is acceptable. We're going to move them over. We do not... Actually, we can be on unit reorg here. We're going to have to move them out of this territory, of course. Come on, get over here, guys. There we go. Put them on unit reorg. Need to take a day first. Unit reorg. And apparently they lack access to Edutania. What?
Wait, which of which of our wh who's actually rebelling here? Who is actually rebelling here? Yeah, this is Edutania. I'm confused. Why do we lack access to the people who are rebelling against us? They're in a war with the Edutanian Revolt. This is the second Edutania Rebellion against Carthaginians. Oh, it's these guys. Okay, so these guys are rebelling against these guys. I was a little confused there, but it's all good. So we see the Roman force is over here right now. That's fine. These guys are going to come on over, and we're going to look at potentially taking all of this territory from Rome. If they don't have the troops to stop us from doing this, then this is great. We're bringing in additional troops right now, and things are looking good for us in this war right now. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I'll see you all next time when we'll see if Rome has the steel to back up this war declaration. Technically, it's iron. <laughs>